Okay, we're listening to music from the 80s. Music from the 80s. And we are going to talk about the muscles of the posterior abdominal wall. Very exciting. Um, so we're going to talk about these abdominal wall muscles. Uh, and we have some pictures in front of you, but we do not have the diaphragm. Um, you can see it uh, up above, but uh, we're not going to discuss that in detail. We just want you to know that these, this is one of the muscles of the posterior abdominal wall. But you can see in front of you the psoas major and psoas minor, and the iliacus, and the uh, quadratus lumborum. Uh, so we're going to look at these uh, in detail, and we're going to try and guess what they are. Okay, so let's look at these muscles, and I'm just going to point to them, and we're going to guess what they are. So what is this muscle? This is the iliacus. And this attaches to the superior two-thirds of the iliac fossa, and it joins the psoas muscle, the psoas uh, major muscle, to form the iliopsoas. So where is the uh, psoas major? This is the psoas major muscle connecting all the way down here. And uh, it's connecting again with the iliacus to form the iliopsoas, and it is in, innervated by the femoral nerve, and this flexes the thigh and stabilizes the hip joint, uh, and it acts um, in this way. Okay, next uh, let's look at this muscle. This is the uh, psoas minor, and um, it is absent in 50% of people, and we have to remember that it's located in front of the uh, psoas major, and it attaches at uh, T12 and L1 vertebrae and inserts into the uh, uh, pectineal line and the iliopectineal eminence. So we're learning a few things here. And let's move up onto the other side, and we can see the quadratus lumborum muscle. This extends uh, from the 12th rib and the tips of the lumbar transverse processes to the iliac crest and it extends laterally a flexes vertebral column and it is innervated um, by T12, L1 and L4 so we also have to know that the diaphragm is the fifth member of the muscles of the posterior ab abdominal wall and uh, we have to remember these in addition to some of the details. Okay, playing the 80s. Now we're going to talk a little bit more about the psoas major muscle. Uh, so it's long and thick. It passes deep to the inguinal ligament and to the lesser trochanter of the femur. And again, together with the iliacus forms the iliopsoas muscle which flexes the thigh at the hip joint. And um, the lumbar plexus of nerves is embedded within it. We're going to talk about the lumbar plexus in another slide. And remember, it is innervated by L1, L2, and L3. So again, talking about the psoas minor, uh, remember that 50% of people don't have it. And uh, major points of the quadratus lumbrum um, extends from the 12th rib and the tips of the lumbar uh, transverse processes to the iliac crest. And it is innervated by T12, L1 to L4. And this flexes the vertebral column. And uh, lastly, let's just review what the iliacus does. It attaches to the superior two-thirds of the iliac fossa and joins the psoas to form the iliopsoas. And it is innervated by the femoral nerve. And remember that it flexes the thigh and stabilizes the hip joint, um, acting with the psoas major. <laughs>